So to be 100% honest, I absolutely hate the cold weather and I hate the snow, but I can't lie, it's so beautiful. Look at the sunrise from this morning. about to head to the gym. Today is the very first day that I'm gonna start actually jogging. Just gonna start jogging with just a quarter of the lap. I'm gonna have a quick breakfast and then we're gonna go. I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast. Still trying to get that 200 grams of protein every day and I'll show you what like my macros have been over the last week, but here's breakfast. So real quick, just two scoops of plant-based protein, a banana, a cup of raspberries, a cup of blueberries. I'm gonna eat all this and then head to the gym. Protein, that plant-based stuff, <coughs> it's awesome. No, it's it's good, but it doesn't taste as good as like the chemically preservative bad stuff for you. So yeah, jogging a quarter of a mile. I'm really, really excited. It's just like a big milestone to kind of check off. So we'll see how it goes. so pretty mom. Thanks, yeah. So I felt really, really good in the gym. I ran that quarter mile at like a pretty decent pace, like five miles per hour on the treadmill and I felt like I could have kept going for like a mile. Like I felt really, really good. But as always, I, I feel like I talk about this so much, but slow progressions, literal baby steps up. So I'm gonna do that quarter mile. Then the next time I go in, I'm gonna jog a half mile, then three quarters of a mile, then a full mile, then maybe a mile and a half, then two miles, and slowly go up. Because the worst case thing, if I go in that gym, I'm feeling good right there because I'm all warmed up and adrenaline's going and endorphins are going, and then I go for a full mile, and then the next day I'm like, oh my God, I think something's wrong. So slow progression. I'm having four egg tacos with some chorizo, guacamole, and some tomatoes right now, so that's a lot of protein. A lot of good stuff, good fats. Chorizo is not the best for you, but it's it's good. It's it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> and then today, I mean, we're not really snowed in, but I'm just gonna really be working, editing. I got a lot of stuff to do, but I do have some very big news. I'm very excited, um, but a little scared at the same time. So the exciting news that I wanted to talk about was pretty much that I'm in talks, like pretty serious negotiations right now with a team to sign a new contract. Now I'm doing a lot of talking to my agents, I'm talking to like people, I'm talking to other coaches, I'm talking to my parents, my girlfriend, seeing if it's the right decision for me because it's not in the USL, it's a new league, new country. So it could be a great opportunity, but at the same time, it definitely is like at a lower level. So I just need to make sure that, you know, there's no opportunities in the USL or at a higher level before I drop down a little bit. And, uh, but it's going to be, I think it'd be such an adventure, so much fun. I'm really excited about it. And I'm just kind of like finalizing that decision today. Hopefully in the next video or so, I will announce it, but I'm pretty excited. Today I'm also going to see Black Panther. Super, super pumped about that because I've heard amazing, amazing things. Should be a good movie. I'll give you my review afterwards. 
and then it's pretty much just gonna be working. So, shorter video probably today. So excited about this new opportunity with the team. I wanna talk about it more, but I really need to talk to my agents, talk to other people, and make sure that this is the right decision. A lot of you guys have been asking when these t-shirts, the Become Elite t-shirts, in white, black, and gray are gonna be ready. And it's gonna be a while. It just takes so long to progress anywhere with like when you were dealing with stuff overseas and getting stuff shipped. Like for the general timeline, this is what I have to do. First, I actually have to get the maroon color swatches of fabric sent over here. That in itself probably won't happen until about mid-March. I then actually have to decide on a fabric color and then get the sample of the maroon shirt sent over. By now, we're looking around April. Once I get the sample, then I can place the bulk order. The bulk order then goes into my supplier and they have to manufacture every single t-shirt, which is gonna be about 600 to 800 shirts. And that usually takes probably two to three weeks. So now we're looking around May. Then I can start taking photos, putting the shirts on the website and getting them ready to sell and then once they're all gonna be ready ready to ship out everything's good it's gonna probably be end of May to June but then all that might have to be put on hold depending on this new team and contract and depending on where I go because if I go out of country then now I can't get shirts sent to me if I'm somewhere else and then bring them back to America and have to deal with all these custom taxes and costs which is usually between six hundred to a thousand dollars every time you cross a border so it'll probably be a while but they're gonna come but just know that i'm doing everything i can going as fast as i can camera slowly falling but it's gonna take some time what's up hey need some help no i'm, all, I'm just gonna do this and i'm done uh, I'm sure I have so right now, me, my mom, and my dad are about, oh geez, yellow light. Me, my mom, and dad are about to go see Black Panther. I'll give you my review afterwards, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really good based on everybody else's reviews. Let me go. All right, see in about three hours. Black Panther was really, really good. I think, it, I don't wanna spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen it, but if you haven't seen it, go and see it. It just has such a, unique storyline and so much depth to the characters that I would say. So I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. It was all right. So I gave it a 7.5. Wasn't the best Marvel, I did think. What do you think is the best Marvel? Doctor Strange, that's a good one. Yeah. What'd you rate it? I would give it an eight. I liked it. Other than that, and big news, two things actually. One is like I posted on Instagram today is that I was looking through my PayPal like kind of tax stuff and I, I just kind of counted the countries and you can see all there all organized for you. The programs have been sent out to kids or people in 70 different countries. That's unbelievable. If you would have told me two years ago when I started this like look the program that you're making that first one you're gonna do it's gonna go even to more even to a couple states I'd have been like sweet but now to 70 different countries is is just mine boggling it's unbelievable and the second thing is i just while i was watching black panther actually i crossed over 150,000 subscribers so i just want to say thank you to everyone who's doing this if you guys are new here welcome to the channel the two of you that just helped me cross over 150,000. <laughs> uh, but no seriously it's it's crazy i remember going back over my old videos and just reflecting and seeing myself just go like huge congrats or huge thank you for 8,000 subscribers big thank you for 20,000 and to just see it ramp up and up and up has just been an awesome experience and so so amazing I, you know i dreamt of my youtube channel reaching this many people but i never really thought that it would happen so quickly or and at the same time i it was always just kind of a dream and not really like uh it's gonna happen but it's happening and it's just amazing so thank you so much i'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching as always hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace